All right. Welcome to Star Shindy. A game that's very reminiscent of FTL in many ways. Though a little bit more simpler, I think. Anyhow, let's start a new game and I'll basically show it off. Uh, let's go with original difficulty. The onslaught of the Me Mechrons stops suddenly. The rebuilt Star League scrambles its ships to search for its ne their nemesis. Chapter 1, 425 Parsec. The game is over when your main character dies or your flagship is destroyed. Now, no problem, we actually have three main characters, so... Yeah, that'll be fun. And yes, the loading screens in this game are long. This is both, you know, same for the smartphone, but also for, like, the computer here with the emulator. Alright, well anyways... Here's our characters. We got Shindy Ashford. She's the main character. She's essentially a veteran of the Terran Alliance and a captain to Star Shindy. She lost her arm in a battle against the Mechrons and replaced her with a synthetic arm. She's a shotgun wielder and she also has a pistol. There's her hit points, her speed, her movement range, her evade chance, and her critical hit chance. Um, if I have to, I can heal and train her and stuff, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. We have Sean Gray here. A former engineer of the Terran Alliance, the aging old man still has vigor of a young man. As you can see, he's got a rifle, so he fires at long range. Or at least a long range in the shotgun. And then we got Sarah Collins. This young woman was charged for dis disorderly conduct and imprisoned after the first conflict. But now she is a crew member of the Star Shindy. I'll note for some backstory in this game. Essentially, what's happened is that uh, Earth has been ravaged by like you know uh, an alien me um, mechanoid threat, and essentially like what they do is they basically put whoever they could basically in the starships to basically fight them back, and that includes like criminals. Anyways, here's our ship. We basically have a, uh, the Star Shindy, and that's my main character. A long-range destroyer for the Terran Alliance is what the Star Shindy is all about. And it's the Star Corvette, the Corvette-class space fighter manufactured by the Terran Alliance. It's a lot weaker than the sh um, Shindy, but whatever. I'll still want to try and keep it alive. Right, let's get going. I got two options here, empty space and empty lost space. Or empty space. Uh, this one has a reward for us. So let's go here. <clears throat> Zap. A civilian trader. An unidentified ship approaches. It is an unarmed civilian ship. Continue. Hello there, I have some goodies for sale. Are you interested? Someone speaks loudly on the channel. Uh, I don't trade people I don't know. Okay, I don't like picky ones anyway. Leave. Well, we got some particles for going there. Now, I didn't really have anything like really trade there, so that's why I like, did that, but whatever. That's where we came from. This is where we're at. I basically have 408 uh, parsecs of travel. Basically, this is like, you know, how many parsecs I have traveling. Basically, get to my destination down here. We have a fight over here with a Mechron fleet. And over here, they got a stress signal. Let's see what's going on over here. <clears throat> see, I'll notice, like, her bridge here basically got, like, her, like, as piling. A risky rescue operation. You receive a stress call from a clockzit planet. It won't be easy going into that planet. Massive damage to the hull is expected. They need us. We have to help them. So yeah, I've got two options, very like you know FTL style. Let's go for the second one. 
You arrive at the origin of the distress call, only to find the debris of a destroyed ship. You receive a message. Is it my birthday? Identify yourself. I'm a serious figure sending a message. That's not your concern. Now, you are here. Why don't you share some of your goodies? Uh, Fretten. I was going easy on you, but you're just asking for it. Now you die. The colonial units begin their attack. So, colonial are basically like pirates in this game, so this will be fun. Take action. Alright, so, we're basically going to be doing an infantry mission here, I guess. Um, I guess we'll send all my guys in, so battle. So, there's basically two types of battles in this game. One's basically the infantry base, and the, and the other's the starship base, so... We'll basically jump between the two. So, here's my guys. And up here we got the pirates. And you know, it's not very easy sliding and fight the mouse in this game because, you know, I'm using a mouse, not my finger, so there's that. This is a game that's made for a smartphone, just for you guys to know, but whatever. Alright, these guys don't have very good range, so... We'll get a little closer, I think. Let's move. Um, let's go him, where, there with him. She has to get much closer to fi the fire her sniper rifle, I guess, so we'll still move with her. Get over here. And you can move up to here. Let's go. Turn. So basically how this game works is that each of you guys, like, you know, both, everyone will basically take their turn all at once. So essentially it's like, you know, um, you basically take two, uh, two um, you know, actions in a turn, and everyone takes their turns at once. So it's like, no, like, you know, you take your turn, you, he takes her turn, everyone takes their turn at once. Right, so he is a lot closer. Um... Let's get over here, with you. You're gonna go up there. And I can take a shot with her, so let's do it. Um, I don't know if I can like, you know, choose how many shots we're gonna fire. We're gonna fire all three of our shots in the, sh in the sniper rifle at this guy, so let's do it. Fire away! There's one shot. And my second shot got him there, so... Basically, one shot missed, the other two hit. Now she has to reload to do her things, but um, yeah, we'll reload, I guess. Now, I could fire at him, but I think we'll actually let him wait for now. And how about I get you to sort of like you know in the cover, I guess. Her shotgun doesn't have very good range, by the way, so she has to get very up close and personal to hit people. I really don't like using the captain, but you know, whatever. She is her captain. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. Nah, that's too risky. Let's have her just move, you know, um, down here, I guess. And then over here in the cover. For now. Or actually, you know what? Let's move right there for now. Go! Yes, yeah, so you're gonna move up to here. There's him firing, you know, full out on the guys. Uh, let's get you up to here. And how about you retaliate, shall we? Actually, you know what? Aim a shot at him. And fire everything at him. So, let's do it. You can move up here now. So we got one of the guys from his barrage. Now I know I do have access to a pistol. 
It's got fairly weak range though, so... Let's have you reload. You're not really in range, unfortunately, so... Move closer. And... You get up right here, I think. They are in cover, by the way, somewhat, so that's a good thing about them. But here we go, let's finish them off. Here's suppression, by the way. It's very good with shotguns, because, you know, you got a nice wide burst of shotguns. Let's just do that, and we'll finish them off. Right to the face. <clears throat> Alright, well. We're still going, so there's a little bit more parts to kill. Wow, they're far away, so... Everyone's going to be moving for a little bit. And there's at least five of them, so that'll be fun. Let's see here. Um, we'll get you to move first since you've got the sniper rifle. And you can go up here. And you'll go up here. Go! So, I'm actually sort of a fan of this type of gameplay. Though, I sort of wish they did it with the ships, and they didn't actually do it with the ships, so... Yeah, it sucks in that sort of action, but whatever. Um, I'm going to move you up very, very close, I guess. That's fine. Get there, I guess. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind trying to take out this guy over here, so... Get there. We'll get this guy to move up here, and you can just move right there for now. So these guys advance very slowly, as you can see. Um, I assume they're actually gonna take pot shots at her in a moment, but whatever. Let's do some aim shots at this guy with all our might. And you're not quite close enough to fire, so... Let's get you up to here, I guess. Right there is fine. I'll just get you in the cover, I guess. Let's actually try and move her a little bit more. More better than that, I think. Go around, you know, through the back of her, basically. Ooh, he shot him right in the face. Shot that guy, too. Double kill. Can you move up here? You can. Well, it's not really worth it, I don't think, for you, so... You're gonna fire at him. And I'm not close enough to use the pistol, so let's get you up to here and you're reload. Let's go. Got that guy. Whoop, my sniper took a hit. You want to avoid damage as much as possible in this game, because it's very hard to heal these guys up. So you really want to avoid, you know, them getting lots of damage. Alright, you're going to run around this guy, I think. Like that. 
Um, I want you to sort of move it back into cover a little bit, so go here. Uh, don't reload, you're already fully loaded. Fire at this guy and hopefully you'll hit. And let's do this thing. Actually, you know what? You reload too. They tend to fire whoever's closer, by the way, as you can see. Her sniper rifle hit, so that's good. Just kill him. Right to the face. Eight enemies killed! We got this Parkle reward and gold reward. There's our rewards for, you know, weapons and stuff. Two bridge. So that was a fairly successful fight. Sometimes they go very, very badly. Um, and you know, it'll happen. Managing energy is key. Very, very true. <clears throat> Now, I actually am a fan of that type of, like, you know, play style with, like, you know, the, uh, the everyone goes at once turn-based mechanics. Though they didn't do it for the shifts, really, so you see what's going on with them when I get to them, I guess. Uh, by the way, we can go to these guys to, like, you know, change around their stuff, so... I get this guy armor we basically found, so we'll put on the armor. And we found some weapons, too, but do I want the flamethrower or the rifle? Basically, these things, like, you know, as you can see, they do, <laughs> um, they'll do different things. Uh, the rifle's basically, of course, a rifle. And, you know, it basically got raised to 53 of fire. And the capacity's right there. Rate of fire is, like, right there. Blood spread. Flame Pro's got very good blood spread, but it's got, you know, very really similar to, like, the shotgun here. DPS is actually lost on, the, on this flame It's just basically better for the spread. That's all I know about, like, you know, the shotgun, by the way, and the rifle. The shotgun has very good spread, so its DPS is actually very, very high. The rifle has to hit with all its shots, and it has to be very close, basically, so... There's some things to note. Now, I could heal her, by the way. It cost me some particles and other stuff, basically, to do. Um, but it's usually a good idea, basically, to stop him from bleeding, DOT, or, you know, suffering from speed, so... We'll do that right now. Here's my other guy. We'll heal up this guy a little bit. And he hasn't got any armor. The rifle's no, you know, not really much better for him, so I'm not gonna worry about that, I don't think. And then for her, I think she's probably best with a sniper rifle. I really actually really like using sniper rifles because, you know, long range. So, we'll just heal her up as is. And I think we're one of those guys for now. Now, I could, by the way, if I want to do research for these guys, since I got the particles for it. Basically, if I want to, I could, like, upgrade, like, you know, my stuff to have, like, you know, um, heavy plasma missiles, or, uh, heavy pulse laser front. A plasma shield. Heroic sacrifice increases shield capacity. Engine overdrive, advanced missile capabilities, advanced laser weapons. Lots of good stuff, basically. Um, let's go for... This research right now, I think, with the, uh... You basically do research your stuff, basically, to improve your ships and such. Let's research these two things, and we'll get those, like, you know, started start out of the way. And let's just get going on. Alright, over here we got ourselves access to a small asteroid filled with valuable minerals. Empty lost space. Or a plant in a hub of many external trading routes. Don't really need to trade at this point, so... Let's go here. This time this guy's apparently, you know, helping to fly the ship, I guess. And I ban mine. You find an old Parkle mine, you don't know where the mine is depleted. We can find something useful, it's a rare chance. The Mechrons wouldn't just leave a mine like this alone. Well, let's just find, try and find something. Chindi, well, let's explore deeper. The scan reveals a couple of ships that are still operational inside the mine. Continue. It's like someone was really in a hurry. Uh, let's check the big one. And bad miner. There are some particles in it. Search the cargo for early. Nice. 
So we got some free sparkles there to basically do stuff with. Alright, we got ourselves a battle up here with a bunch of mechroids. <coughs> we got ourselves a skein. Planet. They basically do some research and stuff. Or an empty lot of space. Hmm. I actually like getting goals. Let's go here. Alright, now it's basically over here, I guess. You know, different little portraits for you guys as they like run around in space. Mouths in the dark. The ship's security system is triggered, but it's not enough to stop them. They pose a serious threat. Fight! Well, we got ourselves in our, you know, fight like this, I guess. Now, no boys, she's got a lot, you know, a lot of XP, XP. I didn't actually heal her properly, I guess, so that happened. Like, she's got, like, you know, armor, but she didn't, I didn't heal up her HP or anything, so... Yeah. But whatever. I'll heal her up next time, I guess. You know, I probably should put a rifle on my captain until I get her upgrades. Are you sure that is here? I see nothing. I'm sure. I'm picking up a faint signal. Stay frosty. Strange. I got a lock on the signal, but no visual. Hey, Gray, your gadget isn't working. Just blow the, up the whole place. Gadget! She calls it a gadget. She knows nothing about my genius and my invention. Cut the chatter. Dan must be using some sort of optical camouflage. They will reveal them to positions when they attack. So yes, we got ourselves camouflaged enemies here. I don't know where they are, but they're around. Well, let's move into it and find them, I guess. Captain, my captain, lead the charge. Go out here. You go right there, and you can just go down here. Go! Alright, haven't found him yet. Let's get you right there. You can go right here. You're gonna go right there, I guess. Oh, there's our first enemy. See, so yeah, basically, you guys are like cloakers. And as you can see, they like to the cloak. Oh, okay, so they're all over the place here. I want you to do some aim shots, I guess, on this guy. Like so. Um, you fired him. You're just gonna move up here, I think. You know, think about it, I don't like how close she is to this guy. Or that guy. So you know what? Move up here. See, so yeah, I'm basically moving out of the way of these guys here a little bit. Oh, there's another guy right here, too. So we got a bunch of, you know, a bunch of guys basically to fight. Well, let's see here. Use your pistol. You're not close enough to hit anything, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. Let's get you down here, I guess. I know they're here, these guys, so... Hmm. I'm going to get you to move up here, and you're just going to reload over here, I think. These guys are easy if you know how to deal with them right, but yes, they can basically keep moving. So you waste their attacks and stuff. There's another guy there, apparently. Whoops, someone's coming for her. Fire the pistol! That'll get rid of him. And... You fire him. Not close enough. You kill him. Let's do this. Fire! 
Oh, she took some hits there. Nice, bunch of kills. So I took a few hits there, but that's fine. We got a nice sniper rifle out of it, as it was a pistol. To the bridge! You'll find like different types of enemies to basically fight in this game. Those are like, you know, cloaked ones, so, you know, obviously they basically, you know, pose a challenge of so basically hide and seek type of idea. There we go, we got some gold for my troubles. Now, let's go in here, I think, and let's heal her up. Or I guess we can't heal her up. I guess we have to take her back to, like, you know, an infirmary and basically heal her up, so that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm actually thinking about giving her a rifle. Or a sniper rifle. Now, the thing is, like, I can't train her to be, like, better with shotguns and stuff. Pistols, shotguns, and flamethrowers. Or keeps her ready for shotgun ability and stuff like that. But the thing is, I haven't really gotten this yet for her, so... I could, like, basically give her whatever weapon I want to right now, basically, is the thing, so... Yeah. Um, by the way, she's basically good with, like, you know, um, anything really she want to with, with her. She doesn't have any specific weapon abilities, so that's nice to know about her. And then this guy, uh, he's got reduced damage when, uh, received when spending an all actions doing suppression, so if she he suppresses stuff, basically he'll stand and deliver. There's now uh, more progress from fallen enemies, HP. This is actually a good one to get if you do in, get into a lot of melee combat, but whatever. I'm actually going to be first going for like, you know, my ship because my ship is more important I think right now. Let's get that stuff. And we'll go to my ship again to start upgrading it. So the star sh um, shinny here. Let's see here. Let's get ourselves, I think, this one going. And I should probably go into these guys, make sure they have like their proper weapons and stuff, so... Let's give you uh, another sniper rifle, the better one we basically found. So there's a good sniper rifle on her. And I'll give it a better pistol as well. And until we actually get, like, you know, upgrades of this, um, you know, we'll actually use a rifle on her as well, I think. Or, sniper rifle might be, might be good to use, too. Because why not? I like sniper rifles. To the bridge! Over here we got a space station. I can actually heal up my guys here if I go here. I might want to do that. Or, the source of an identified ship distress call. Why not? Let's go here. <clears throat> The traitor. You receive a message from a crew identifying itself as, as Pavin. Ahem. Care to talk for a moment? What is it? The Pavin crew sends a message. We are trading goods to the Cancer Constellation Nebula, but profits low these days. We have no choice but to reduce the number of our ships. How may I help you? Please take some of our cargo. I can't just dump it. I have only one condition. Continue. I will give you a very good price. The Pavin shows us wares. Which will you take? Uh, so basically, I can take a capture Mechon Corvette or Me Mechon Destroyer. I don't have anything for basically the bodies though, so let's leave. Sorry, man. Ooh, our research complete. If I go to my ship now, you'll see that we basically have access to a new technology, so that's basically research for us to use. And we'll begin research on this as well, I guess. Just to get it out of the way. Basically, I want to upgrade my ship quite a bit for like the next, like, you know, the final fight in chapter one, basically, if I get to it. Let's go to the next place. Uh, there's a Clax of Lair here, we'll avoid that for now. Basically, this is like, the plans are for like, lore. I don't really care about lore right now, so war. To the empty space. Upon your arrival, you receive a message from a traveling merchant ship. Care for a trade? 
Uh, refuse. Sorry. I keep finding traders, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Alright, I haven't done a ship fight yet, so... Let's go here. And blow up some Necron ships. My nemesis of the game. The dead end. A ship blocks your way. You can clearly see the Mechron and Xenia on the other side of the ship. Attack! Alright, so... We're going to send both our ships into battle. Let's do it. <clears throat> so I'm not a really big fan of like, the combat for the ships in this game, because essentially what's happening, you're doing it in real time. You can still like increase the speed, but it's basically a real-time strategy at this point, which is different than like the you know foot um, you know uh, the foot mechanics of like you know your troops basically. This I think it would have been a lot better if it actually has like you know a similar like you know um, everyone takes like their own turn type of thing with like, uh, with, the, with the ships as well. But it's the only like really misgiving I have for this game. Also, we've actually really liked this game a lot. I'll note this is actually a game that um, I basically picked this game up because I thought it might be interesting to like check out. And it has some interesting ideas to it, as you can basically see, but, you know, I kind of wish they were a little bit more consistent on the ideas, is the thing. Alright, well, let's see here. And, let's see here. The enemies are down here, by the way. Now, there is, like, ability to, like, you know, slow down the time. We'll do that. Uh, I need to get her to do her thing. Now, as you can see, they can actually like fire and stuff like that. So there we go. Now you can't manually control these guys, but I'm just gonna let them like do their thing, like you know, as is. So. Here we go. Real time space battle, basically. There's the first one down. As you can see, they basically do it automatically now. They basically work here, so. I'm taking a pouting, but whatever. There's that one down. Enemy ship destroyed. Awesome. Now I got more guys coming in. There we go. It's very, it's kind of hard to control these guys with like you know um, the computer, so. That's why I'm basically having difficulty controlling these guys, as is. Oh, we got Necron Frigates. These guys are actually really dangerous to fight, you know, at range. Let's just get these guys going as is. These are definitely like, you know, controls, you know, for touchscreen, so... Ow. All the circle of these guys for now. Now these guys do turn slow, so that's one advantage I have on them. My Corvette basically, oof. Yeah, it is possible to bump, bump these guys around, by the way. So that's what's happening with my Corvette here. He's getting bumped around. So you're gonna go this way, I guess.
There we go. My car I took a beating, but whatever. Ouch. This is what ship combat looks like though for the most part. There goes that one. That guy's good before his engine, so you can like blow up their like engines and like you know other stuff as like you go along in combat. There we go. Hopefully that's the end of the combat. Nope, more guys to fight. And yeah, I saw a job like multiple ways, so... Oh! They're firing at long range. Let's keep them circling these guys. Well, that's not good. Do whatever you want. There's my engine again. I need you to do more than uh, go at long range. He's probably missiles like crazy, which is really annoying, but oh well. There's that one. Nice big boom from him. Oh. Well, that happens, you know, happens if you're like you're not careful. You got blown spinner rings there. <clears throat> Talking a little bit of fire. I need to fire this guy more or less, but whatever. Finally. Well, let my lasers do the work here, and let's you know stay away from this guy for now. We're gonna use speed to my advantage, basically. Basically, I'm at long range here. Just keep running away and firing at these guys as they come, right? Oh! Bad time to turn. Oh, there goes him. Well, I'm not dead, but 
I'm certainly very close to it. I killed 12 enemies there, I lost my other ship. There's an epic battle, got a lot of rewards for it, I guess. And enemies behind cover receive less damage from attacks, so that is a thing. So yeah, this is basically um, Star Shindy. And, you know, it was basically a game I picked up on my phone. You know, it's not a bad game, but it's also a game that I feel like, you know, it misses a few things. Basically, this is a roguelike, and like, you know, you basically start from the beginning every time, but it's also a story-based game. So, you know, it's like something that, you know, it is good in many ways, but it's sort of eh in other ways. Anyhow. Um, well, I hope you guys basically enjoyed a quick video for it. And, uh, well, we'll see what other type of games I've basically see on Google Play here. But for now, take care.